everybody. So here are the word poems for our first section on conics, which is parabolas. So this says a sealed beam headlight is in the shape of a paraboloid of revolution. The bulb is placed at the focus is one inch from the vertex. If the depth is to be two inches, what is the diameter of the headlight at its opening? So a paraboloid of revolution is just a kind of like a bowl, like it's a parabola that went 360 around, but I can't draw that. Um, and here, this is the light source, um, so that's the focus, and there's the vertex, and this distance is one. So what do we know? We know this overall distance from the top of this um, headlight to the vertex is supposed to be two inches. What do we want to know? We want to know how far is it from end to end of the headlight. So <clears throat> what do we look at? We look at, well, this looks like an x squared is equal to 4ay. Um, there's no hk because I decided let's just make the vertex 0, 0. And then a we happen to know is 1 because it's the distance from the focus to the vertex. So I have x squared equals 4 times 1 times y. Then when I'm looking at this 2, so this 2 here, well that would be a measure of y. So now I have x squared is 4 times 1 times 2, which is 8. So that says x squared is equal to 8. You can take the square root. x is the square root of 8. So what does that say? Well, that square root of 8 would be this distance to here. It would also symmetrically be that distance to the left. So if I have square root of 8 and square root of 8, so our distance is 2 square root of 8. Um, kind of watch for how it's asked. I looked at problems quickly and didn't see one that had a radical. Maybe I just picked one that did. So I put 2 squared of 8 in my calculator. I got 5.66. This is in inches. So just watch for what it says. If it says round, then round. If it says give exact, then you would give 2 squared of 8. Um, so here's another one. This is a little bit bigger. So it says the cables of a suspension bridge are in the shape of a parabola as shown in the figure. The towers supporting the cables are 600 feet apart and 80 feet high. If the cables touch the road surface midway between the towers, what is the height of the cable from the road at 150 feet from the center of the bridge? All right, lots of stuff to unpack there, but luckily it's starting to look like the first problem, which was an x squared equals 4ay. Again, I can choose where to put my vertex, so I'm gonna choose that and say, if I were gonna put this on a coordinate system, I'm gonna put the vertex at zero, zero to make my life easier. Then if you notice this 600 feet from left to right when I go all the way through, well, I'm going to cut that in half and I'm going to call this 300 and 300. So we're going to put that over here as 300 and then I'm going to make it negative 300. And that's important because it goes 80 feet up. So right here, at, I'm going to, you know, I'm making my own point here. This point would be 380. And then I have the same thing on the left. I have negative 380. Now, this um, isn't the lattice rectum or anything. It's just some points that we have that are on the bridge. But it does allow me to figure some things out. So let's just use this 300 with 80. So it says when x is 300 squared, I get 4 times a times 80. So 300 squared, I'm just going to leave as 300 squared because I'm lazy. Um, 4 times 80 is 320, and that's a. So I'm just going to again leave it that way. I'm going to have 300 squared over 320 is a. If you don't like that, if you want to do 300 squared, um, that would be 90,000 divided by 320. Um, you could write a as 281.25. That's okay too. Like whichever way you decide to do it. I'll leave it as a decimal because I figured maybe that's what you'll do. All right. So now we have a number to put in for our a. So let's write that. I have x squared equals 4 times 281.25 times y. So let's do that times 4. I have x squared equals 1125y. Okay, back to the question. It says, um, what is the height of the cable from the road at a point 150 feet from the center? So I know the x, I'm looking for the y. So I want 150 squared equals 1125y. 
So 150 squared divided by 1125 um, that comes out really nice it's just 20 so I told you like I saw some like nice things and that's all it's going to ask so for all that work you're only entering one number which is 20. All right so here's the long problem um, I'm pretty sure I didn't give you this in the homework but I have a plan to make this a quiz instead because that makes me happy. That way you could show me some work and do some stuff with Desmos. And so that's the plan is I'm going to put together a quiz. Probably not today. I'll do it probably by Wednesday. So it says a parabolic arch. Um, so a bridge is built in the shape of a parabolic arch. The arch has a span of 120 feet and a maximum height of 25 feet above the water. See the figure. Choose a suitable, suitable rectangular coordinate system and find the height of the arch at a distance of 10, 30, and 50 feet from the center. So this, we will use um, Desmos to do a lot of it, like that will help us out a lot, but we have to kind of start off with, well, like what's our plan? So let's start with, this one's upside down, right? Like if I'm gonna do this, this is upside down. So maybe I'm gonna draw it this way and I'm gonna make this be 25 and it's gonna go like this. So now this is an x squared, but um, it's x squared equals negative 4a, and then it's y minus 25, and that shows that 25 feet up that it went, so it's still kind of symmetric to the um, x equals 0, but I have this 25 height, and remember it's minus, so it's always opposite. Then it had this span of 120. Well, just like we did on the other bridge, we're gonna split it 60 and 60. So I have 60 on the right, 60 on the left. Um, and that's gonna help us out because if I look at this point, this point is 60, zero. That's gonna help me solve for A. So watch, I can put 60 squared equals negative four. A, I don't know. And then I have zero minus 25. So I put the zero in for Y. Um, if I multiply this out, I get 60 squared, which I guess we could go ahead and write. Negative 25 times negative 4 is positive 100a. So let's do 60 squared is 3600. Um, that's 100a. So we're going to divide by 100. We're going to get 3 points, or 36. I'm going to say 3.6. So we have a is 36. So that's kind of helpful. Um, we need to do 36 times 4 because we're going to plug that back in to here. Right, this is going up here. So I have negative 4 times 36 is negative 144. So I have x squared is negative 144. And then this is y minus 25. Okay. Next it says, um, so we're gonna choose, we chose our coordinate system and we need to find the height of the arch at a distance of 10 30 and 50 feet from the center. So 10, 30, and 50 feet. I'm gonna do the first one the long way and then I'm gonna show you what else we could do. So let's say x is 10, so I have 10 squared, that's a parenthesis, is negative 144 times y minus 25. So 10 squared is 100, um, I can do negative 144 times y, and then negative 144 times 20, negative 25 becomes positive 3600. So I'm going to subtract. I'm going to subtract. So I have negative 3500 is negative 144y, and then I divide. Okay, so let's put that in my calculator um, and this says y is 24 point let's say 31 feet okay so this is our first one is I'm gonna put 10 24.31 so what I want to show you is let's not do like all this work let's have Desmos help us out and Desmos I start with x squared equals I have negative 144 and I'm gonna put in y minus 25 so this is my problem. I know you can't really see it right now. You could zoom in a lot and now I can see it. Um, if I want to make it kind of like look pretty, 
I could tell it um, negative 60 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 60. And then it has the beginning end that really looks more like a bridge. Um, but remember, we want to see what happens at 10, 30, and 50. So I'm going to make a little list. I'm going to put a equals brackets 10, 30, and 50. Um, and it should be falling, it's right? It's like the farther I go away, the closer to the ground. But I'm going to have it put that back in. So I'm going to say a squared, because those values are x, equals negative 144. And then I'm going to do y minus 25. And then watch, it puts them in. So here, so if I could show you, there's 10, 24.306. That's what we got. The next one at 30, it's 18.75, and at 50, it's 7.639. So if I decided I wanted to know 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50, right? If I wanted to know every 10 feet, it is not a big deal to have it do it because you can come through and find it. So there's 10, there's 20, there's 30, there's 40, there's 50. Big hint, that's what I'm planning to do. I'm going to do something parabolic, and then next time we're going to learn elliptical bridges as well. So I'm going to do probably one of each, but I think it'll really help if you use Desmos, uh, because that way you're just having it do all the calculations. You're not having to do much. I know some of you are still scared of Desmos. Don't be. It's okay to reach out to me to ask me what to do. It's okay to come back and look at these videos, but I think this is really clever and helpful if you're trying to think about design, think about if you want to be an engineer, they are not going to do it by hand. They are going to employ some kind of technology that you'll probably have to learn. And that's okay. That's part of having a new job. And even when you've been in a job for a long time, you learn something new. Um, so try the technology. I think it's really awesome. Um, and it's how people do stuff. So next time we'll do ellipses, I'll make it even bigger. I think it'll be fun. I uh, hope to see you in class.